my internet disconnected. Had to redo everything. Purdy with 11 seconds till half looks left, throws left, and that is over the head of everybody. There we go. With seven seconds on the play clock. Shotgun. Purdy gets the ball. Look center. Taking way too much time. Needs to get rid of it. One tick. So close. Purdy almost messed that up. Wow, that barely left any time on the clock. One second till half. Robbie Gold looking to take the lead. We have a timeout by the Cowboys. Shanahan in Purdy's ear for how he ended the half. But this game is manageable. It's a tie ball game. Hi, baby. Mom's on her way home right now, okay? Okay. So here we have the hike. 50-yard attempt, the hike, the hold, the kick. Ooh. Mm. Good. Niners will take a 9-6 lead going into half. Robbie Gold, all the points in the first half for the 49ers.
having a couple of difficulties with my uh, connections. I don't know what's going on here, but either way, we're live. We only have one. entry for the giveaway so far. Haven't used any of my clips yet. I mean, I'm probably going to use this too, huh? Robbie Gold kicking the ball off. Turpin three yards deep. Kneels it down. Shanahan given the Shanahan answer asking about Tony Pollard who is going to be done for the day with a high ankle sprain that puts the Cowboys with two receivers to the left Ezekiel Elliott right hand side of Prescott getting the handoff running to the left and runs into Al Leger, falls forward for a gain of three Max, did Shelby wake up? What? Did Shelby wake up? What? Mom wants to know. Second and seven, Prescott sends T.Y. Hilton in motion from the right to the left. Two receivers to the left, two receivers to the right. Niners bring four, get to Prescott. Prescott gets out of it, rolls to his right, running, says, I'm going to get close to the first down. Eric Armstead on the tackle, short of the first down. So now we have another third down underway. Prescott has already torn a hole in his blue sock on his left knee, it looks like. Prescott with 14 minutes in the third quarter, third and one. Three receivers to the left, Dak Prescott with Ezekiel Elliott on his left-hand side. Now on his right-hand side, Schultz on the right of the line, throws it to... C.D. Lamb, who gets the first down and gets taken out by Deshaun Gibson after he picks up the first down. C.D. Lamb gets right up, says, I got some grass on my face, but I'll pull it off to myself. Nice little bubble screen uh, with some green grass. C.D. Lamb taking the, taking the little bit of grass that he needed and went with it. Dak Prescott with 20 seconds on the play clock up to the line under a center. Then hand, fakes the handoff, rolls to his left, has pressure in his face, gets the pass off in time. Schultz getting tackled by Hafunga and Fred Warner. And Hafunga, very slow to get up, actually just rolls around for a second and gets up pretty good, actually, with 13 minutes left in the quarter. Bosa saying, one more of those, and I am going to get a sack. Samson Eubank on the pressure, gets to Prescott. Prescott gets the ball off in the nick of time. 13 seconds left on the play clock. CeeDee Lamb far out left with Lenore. Two receivers to the right. Dak and Chalkin. Dak gets the ball. It's a pitch to Zeke. Zeke to the right trying to jump step. Nobody as he gets wrestled out of bounds by Jimmy Ward. It's going to be a third and manageable as we have A third and five underway. The first drive for the Dallas Cowboys coming out from half. Ball is at the 47-yard line. Need to get to the 47 on the other side. 16 seconds on the play clock. Dak has three receivers to his left. One receiver to his right. Zeke is in the backfield on the right-hand side of Dak. And the Niners are showing blitz. See if they come back out of it like they have most game. They do back up out of it. Dak throws it to the left, and that is going to be an incomplete catch. Ball intended for Ezekiel Elliott, bobbling it on the sideline as he is then hit. Fourth and five. Let's see if the Cowboys punt the ball away. We tried to have Ezekiel one-handed. Al Jair coming in, not allowing him. Shoo, call mom. She's going to get some food. 
fourth and five, Anger set to punt the ball away. Let's see if the Cowboys have anything special. Doesn't look like it. Anger gets the ball up and away. Raver McLeod gets the ball on a streak, fumbles the ball, and that is a Cowboy ball. That's a Cowboy ball, unless some reason at the bottom of the scrum the Niners can come up with it. I think that's a Cowboy ball. Fumble by Raver McLeod. It was a... Yep. Turnovers. Raymond McLeod gets the strike and comes up and easy fumble. What is on his hand? All right. That's what you needed if you're a Cowboy fan. Dak Prescott now with the ball at the 21-yard line. Cowboys with two turnovers, 49ers with one turnover. Hands the ball off to CeeDee Lamb on the end around. CeeDee Lamb gets to the end around and then is pushed out of bounds by Lenore. Lenore with a humongous tackle on CeeDee Lamb, pushing him out of bounds. Raven McLeod. Don't know what happened to his hand, but getting taped up on the sideline with a second and eight ball is now on the 19-yard line. The red zone offense activated for the Dallas Cowboys. Bosa, Ayers, peered back. Quick pitch to CeeDee Lamb. CeeDee Lamb on the end around gets close to the first down, picks up the first down on the fall forward ball at the 10-yard line. First and 10, first and goal for the Dallas Cowboys. Another bubble screen working uh, for the Dallas Cowboys that is not allowing the 49ers defense to get to Dak Prescott, just allowing Dak to get the ball out quick. First and goal. Prescott empties out the backfield. 10 seconds on the play clock, brings Zeke into the backfield. Then Dak gets the ball, looks left, throws left. That is Schultz on a catch, three-yard gain, instantly tackled by Alisher. Some pushing and shoving going on after the play was dead, away from the ball. That is CeeDee Lamb and Noah Brown coming in for the Dallas Cowboys with Dak Prescott breaking the huddle with 20 seconds, 10 minutes to go on the dot, left in the third quarter. Prescott under center, two receivers bunched up to the right, close to the line. CeeDee Lamb doing the fake end around again, and then that is Bosa with a humongous tackle for a loss on Ezekiel Elliott. Bosa coming around with a hand on his stomach, thought he might have been injured. We already had one 49er um, oblique injury earlier in this game with Charles Amenu. And Bosa just washing down the line. No one there to pick him up. Throws Zeke on his back. Third and goal. Three receivers to the right. Prescott in shotgun. Niners defense needing to step up big right here. Sends T.Y. Hilton in motion from the right. Stays on the right. Went under center. Came back. Dak Prescott getting the ball. Stepping back. Pressure gets the ball off. And that is a drop pass for Ezekiel Elliott ball was almost picked off by Traverius Ward and the Dallas Cowboys are kicking a field goal. A lot of talk in this uh, in this game about the big time kicker Brett Marr. We have the long snapper Mike Overton holder Brian Anger who is also the punter and a field goal kicker that has missed more field goals and point afters and he's made in the past two weeks we have a 25 yard attempt the hike the hold the kick is good we have a tie ball game tie ball game kick is good dallas cowboys nine san francisco 49ers nine a good five minutes and 52 seconds was bled off the clock leading in a cowboy field goal commercial
you're not serious right now, dude. computer went through a software up <laughs> update in the middle of the stream and it messed all of my comments up. But either way, Ray Ray McLeod, trying to redeem himself, gets spins out of a tackle on the return, ha just has the punter to beat, beats the kicker, then is hit out of bounds and should not be a flag in my opinion as he was definitely still in bounds when he was smacked. Huge return for Ray McLeod to make up for the fumble earlier. Gets the ball at the goal line. Spins out of the would-be tackler at the 20-yard line. Then just has a bead. Goes for it. And it's the rookie who does hit him. And he is very close to being out of bounds. First and 10, I formation, 49ers. Has Kittle going in motion from the left to the right. Purdy under center. McCaffrey, the running back. Then pitches it to McCaffrey. McCaffrey running right with a full head of steam. Mika Parsons coming from the backside to get McCaffrey. Gain of five on the play. Second and five, 10 seconds on the play clock. Purdy under center sends the juice box into the I formation with Debo being the running back. McCaffrey alone on his left-hand side. Brandon Ayuk goes in motion from the left to the right. One second on the play clock, fakes the handoff. Now does hand it off to Debo. Debo makes nobody miss. That is a tackle in the backfield for Lawrence. Huge play by the defense of the Dallas Cowboys. Debo Samuel normally not able to make one guy miss, but Lawrence grabs onto Debo's leg and doesn't allow him the juice box. Needed to get to that pat that block a little sooner, but a third and nine, Brock Purdy, 12 of 19, 129 yards. Two receivers to the right, Jawan Jennings going in motion from the left to right, leaving Kittle by himself on the left-hand side with Trayvon Diggs to cover. Purdy getting the ball, blitz coming, Bark Purdy gets it off, throws it over the head of everybody, ball out of bounds, that is going to be a punt for the 49ers on the way.
fourth and nine, seven twenty seven left in the third. Mitch Wazowski set to punt it off. The Cowboys coming in hot, trying to block this punt. Tie ball game, nine nine. Mitch Wazowski gets the ball and punts it away to the right side. Ball flipping and flopping, bouncing in the Niner favor. Ball goes out of bounds at the nine yard line. And they're going to mark it there. She's asked you to stop at that multiple times. First and 10, underway. Dak Prescott, nobody in the backfield. Niners defense calling it out. Now Ezekiel, it goes in the backfield. Prescott fakes the handoff, has pressure, throws left, deep down the left-hand side, coming back for the ball is C.D. Lamb on the catch and the flag. Pass interference defense does not matter. C.D. Lamb comes up with the catch. What an impressive acrobatic catch by C.D. Lamb. Not an inch of space and is able to come up with the play. Keys to defense don't allow big plays to happen. That was a key for the Niners and allowing a big play early in the second half with the tides turning. Tie ball game, 7-10. Left to go in the third quarter. Dak Prescott in shotgun with Zeke on his right. Nick Bosa looking in from the sideline on this play. Jordan Willis coming in. C.D. Lamb and Ezekiel Elliott looking at C.D. Lamb's feet. As we see on that replay that the, mm, I don't, 
I don't I think that's a catch. They're a little slow. Looking at that previous play, the ball can touch the ground as long as you are not trapping it to the ground. And I think he had full possession. Three receivers of the right, Dak Prescott in shotgun. Zeke on his right hand side. Niners bring four. Dak fakes the handoff, then throws it left, and that is an incomplete pass. Dalton Schultz dropped the ball. Dalton Schultz dropped the would-be first down. Oh, wow. Dak Prescott, 17 of 24, 151 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions, second and 10, ball at the 45-yard line, and the Cowboys bring in an extra lineman to hand the ball off to Zeke. Zeke following the lineman gets a gain of five to make it third and five. Ball spotted at the 40-yard line. Six minutes and change. This game is everything we thought it was. Nice, close defensive battle. Both defenses taking turns of not allowing the offense to get going. Dak Prescott throws three receivers to his right. One of them is Ezekiel Elliott. Now C.D. Lamb goes in motion from the right, but will go back to the right. Niners are spread out. Looks like it's a blitz. It is a blitz. Dak Prescott sees it, throws it over the head of Fred Warner, but the pass is incomplete, intended for C.D. Lamb. Beautiful pass to Sean Gibson Sr. on the blitz. Comes in at the nick of time. Fred Warner on the coverage of C.D. Lamb. And the ball looks like it hit C.D. Lamb's hand, but C.D. Lamb is unable to come up with the catch. And let's take another look at that. Yeah, he does come up with the ball. Just dropped C.D. Lamb. What a throw, Dak Prescott. My goodness. Fourth and five, fringe territory of field goal. You decide to go for it. Three receivers to the right. Dak Prescott lifts up his legs with 17 seconds on the play clock. And the Niners... I look like they're going to show blitz. Dak says, all right, 10 seconds on the play clock. I will take this all the way down, calling out the blitzer one second, and that is going to be a delay of game. That's going to be a punt. They just tried to get the Niners to jump off sides to get the easy first down, and DeMar D'Amico Ryan's defense snarls up doesn't jump out off and we're taking another look ooh, of the left ankle of tony pollard on that tackle again nothing nefarious by jimmy ward jimmy ward just coming up doing a a roll around tackle like everybody was always taught anger set to punt the ball away looking for something fortuitous to go in the cowboys way again as ty hilton and dak prescott talking on the sidelines Anger getting the ball and punts it away. Ray Ray McLeod, fair catches at the nine yard line, holds on to it. And the Niners offense will take over once again in the second half. Hopefully not another three and out as we go to commercial break.
Four nine E R S. Lawrence jumps off sides <coughs> and causes Trent Williams to move free five yards for the 49ers that just ran outside in the freezing cold temperatures. Brock Purdy, hold on, hold on, let me finish this. Brock Purdy, first and five. 12 for Tony on the day. George Kittle Mose goes in motion from the left to right, back to the right to left, hands off to McCaffrey. McCaffrey running behind his line, gets to the first down, picks up by the defense, and then throws him back to the ground. <sighs> Laid him out. Here we go. First and ten. Five twenty-five left in the third quarter. Debo goes in motion from the right to the left. Purdy then fakes the handoff, rolls to his left. Plenty of time. See somebody throws it to Kittle, who makes an amazing catch. Fumbles it with his right, fumbles it with his right, then comes up with it still right at the 50-yard line, what a catch, George Kittle, my goodness. Brock Purdy with nothing but time, sees Kittle. Kittle throws his hand in the air, snags it, snag, bobbles it off his helmet, and then finally comes up with the catch. As he almost gets taken out, was he ever touched by a defender? I don't think he was. Nobody gets him there, and the defender finally gets him there. 436 left in the third quarter. Debo, Brandon Ayuk far out to the right. Kittle by himself on the left. Parsons goes over the line again, but Purdy gets the ball off to McCaffrey. McCaffrey makes the catch, needed 10, picked up eight on the play. 420 left to go in the third. Look at Kittle again. Kittle bobbles it with his right off of his face, Mac off of his left hand, then snags it right before Diggs makes a humongous would-be hit on Kittle. Kittle on the year has 11 touchdowns, which is third in the league for receiving touchdowns. Second and three, 10 seconds on the play clock. Purdy gets the ball, hands it off to McCaffrey. McCaffrey gets the first down, then runs into Anthony Barr and a lot of pushing and shoving by, by Jawan Jennings after the play. Jawan Jennings, an extremely emotional player. I'm uh, glad that the refs are allowing these players to be physical today. 3.30 left to go in the third quarter. First and 10, McCaffrey clearing his nose, as I just did as well. Purdy on the day, 14 of 22 with 166 yards through the air. Six seconds left on the play clock. Jawan Jennings goes in motion from the right, stays on the right, hands the ball off to McCaffrey. McCaffrey running to the right side of the line, picks up eight. The 49ers offense doing what they need to do right now, and that's run the ball, and it's going to set up this play action. The Dallas Cowboys commentators getting their wish with a McCaffrey ding up, something to do with his right leg. Second and two, McCaffrey will come off and Elijah Mitchell will come in. Purdy in shotgun. Kittle on his left, Mitchell on his right, hands the ball off to Mitchell. Mitchell needed two, picked up two, stays on his feet, then finally picked up by the defenders, brought down at a gain of five. Mike McGlinchey on the lead block, slow to give up. Here we go, first and 10. Purdy in shotgun, hands the ball off to Mitchell. Mitchell jumping in the backfield, falls forward for a gain of two. 
Kyle Juszczyk getting picked up off the ground by Aaron Banks and Elijah Mitchell. Niners on fringe red zone territory. Ball right outside the 20-yard line. Has Brock Purdy and company in huddle getting the play call from Kyle Shanahan. Something saucy is coming up. Purdy licks his fingers. McCaffrey on his left-hand side. Kittle goes in motion from the left to the right. That puts Kittle, juice box, Debo on the right. Hands the ball off to Mitchell. No, he doesn't. Over the head of... Brandon Ayuk right through the midst of Trayvon Diggs, who had three interceptions this year, a big drop off from last year. Got me with a fake handoff, thought he had it. Run play, run pass option goes off the arms of Anthony Barr. That's what happened. Hit the shoulder of Anthony Barr. That's why it went over the head of Brandon Ayuk. Ball finally hits the grass and Brock Purdy lucky to not come up with an interception. Third and nine, Jawan Jennings goes in motion from the right to the left. Three receivers to the right. Kittle, Debo, Brandon Ayuk, Purdy getting the ball. Pressure in his face, steps up, spins out of it, stays on his feet, but finally brought down by the defense. That is another sack for number 90, Demarcus Lawrence. There is a flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Hopefully it's on the defense. There is hands on the hit for number six. Donovan Wilson, who was matched up with Kittle and threw Kittle to the ground. That's going to be a first down for the 49ers. Flags in the air. Kittle knows it. Kittle says, you can't hold me around the hips like that without taking me to the dance first. Donovan Wilson pissed. Big sack by the Dallas Cowboys, negated by the holding penalty on the defense. Mike McCarthy smiles as he can't believe the call on the sideline. Brock Purdy getting back to back fortuitous plays in his hand. Purdy <laughs> and shotgun sends the Jew box on his right, McCaffrey on his left. Debo now goes in motion from the right to the left. That puts Debo now going back in motion to the to the right. Hands it off to Debo. Debo saucy in the line. Makes one guy miss. Another guy missed. Finally, Anthony Barr and company. There is a flag on the play. Let's see what it is. It could be in the offensive holding range. Someone on Shanahan pointing towards the defense. We have the white hat getting ready to tell us what it is. Holding defense. Number 95, oh man, that's not very often that gets called, but that was called, a, let's see, oh yeah, big hold right there on Anthony, holding the shoulder of Anthony Banks, not letting him disengage. Back to back penalties by the Cowboys, now seven on the day for 50 yards. A negative or a zero play. I formation Brock Purdy under center. Juice box is the fullback. McCaffrey as the running back. Brandon Ayuk, Debo on the left. Hands the ball off the juice box. Juice box stays on his feet. Stays on his feet under the five yard line. Finally, play, plays called dead at the three yard line. The juice box was trying to run that thing through the end zone. No, that's not what happened. That's it wasn't water then. It wasn't water. End of the third quarter.
second and goal. First play of the fourth quarter. Ball is at the three yard line, two and a half yard line. Brock Purdy, 14 of 23 on the day, 167 yards through the air. In the huddle with his team tied nine to nine, entering the fourth quarter. Brock Purdy has Christian McCaffrey on his right-hand side, says, nah, Christian, I want you on my left. Debo, you go in motion from the left. Now you are on the right with you and Ayuk on the right together. Five seconds on the play clock, hands the ball off to McCaffrey. McCaffrey, unscathed, walked right through the line, untouched. The defense, the offensive line created a hole so big, McCaffrey could have carried a ladder on his back and still would have made it. Touchdown, San Francisco 49ers taking the lead 15 to 9. Taking a look at that play again, McCaffrey, oh my gosh, didn't even get touched. Not even a, a fingernail on that boy. We have the point after coming, a very important point after from Robbie Gold. The hike on the way, the hold, good. The kick, <gasps> good. Again, 16 to 9. That extra point is extremely important. If the Cowboys choose to, if the Cowboys, if the Cowboys can score, what do they do? Do they go for two and go for the win, or they go for the extra point and try to tie it up? Their field goal kicker made one field goal early in the game and had a point after block. What? Oh, yes. <laughs> 10 plays, 91 yards, six minutes. Brock Purdy sitting comfortable in this offense. Brother Bear. What play was that? His long one? Oh, that was the twin? Prescott looking in from the sidelines, eyes wide, saying, give me the ball, get out of my way. Robbie Gold kicking the ball deep into, not the end zone, Turpin, who is a return specialist with green grass, hold, just needed Robbie. Robbie Gold makes a tackle with his back. Robbie Gold makes a tackle with his tack. Turpin is up. I don't even know why you... I can understand how you are excited. Robbie Gold, the kicker, just tackled you with his fucking back. Nothing but green grass. There was a hold not called, and Robbie Gold with the shoulder blade to Turpin's chest for the tackle. Fourteen fifty-one left in the game. Dak Prescott in shotgun. Fakes the handoff, throws it to CeeDee Lamb on the bubble screen. CeeDee Lamb spinning around, running into Fred Warner and company. Flag on the play. What is the flag on? I want to say, what is this flag on? Holding, maybe? Everybody's talking it over. This is like the third or fourth time this has happened to the Niners here where there's a flag thrown because it's a hard-hitting defense. Yep, the flag was thrown because it was potentially a defenseless receiver, but the receiver had turned into a runner. Dak Prescott says, I'm going to break the huddle quickly with 14.44 left to go in the game. Three receivers to my right. Now, breaking that up to put Dak under center and Ezekiel Elliott as the lone back. One receiver far out right, one receiver far out left. Hands the ball off to Zeke. Zeke with some green grass, very close to the first down. Humongous tackle by Alagier to not allow Ezekiel Elliott to pick up the first down. It is third and inches, a game of inches. 
and who's going to come out with the, with the inches in their favor? Dak Prescott telling number 75. Oh, wrong play. God dang it. Dak with 10 seconds on the play clock. I think the play clock's going to get pumped up right there. It did. Got an extra 10 seconds. Third and one. Prescott breaks the huddle with 17 seconds. A heavy eye formation to the right. Hands it off to Zeke. Zeke gets the first down. Hafunga coming on the tackle with Dre Greenlaw, but not enough to hold them back from getting the first down. Needed one. Picked up four. Heavy, heavy set. Extra lineman. Extra tight end. Just hat on hat telling you, I'm going to run it. Can you stop it? Niners defense unable to stop it there. Ooh, who was that? Bosa getting washed inside. 15 seconds on the play clock. Traverius Ward backing out of man coverage. Fakes the handoff. Prescott does, then throws it to the left. And that is a catch for C.D. Lamb, who, who goes down at the 27-yard line. 13 minutes and four seconds left in this game. Everybody's heart rate dipping. Ooh, Lenore getting shaken out of his shoes. Beautiful comeback by C.D. Lamb. Just waits for the ball from Dak Prescott. Landed right on the eight of the jersey. C.D. Lamb dealing with a finger injury, but still able to come up with nine catches for 111 yards. Dak Prescott under center has a lineman playing fullback with a running back in the backfield. Two seconds on the play clock. Hafunga ran it perfectly and missed the tackle on Prescott in the backfield. Would have been a huge sack. Read the play perfectly, but unable to come up with the sack. The Niners still able to stop Prescott from getting a gain on the play. Hafunga again coming up to the line. Hafunga in two in year two has made amazing plays. That might actually go down as um, Eric Armstead getting – Dak Prescott in the hip, forcing him to go down. Second and 14, huge defensive play by the 49ers. That is going to be two receivers to Dak Prescott's right, two receivers to his left. In the shotgun position with a blitz coming from the 49ers, gets it off in time. CeeDee Lamb staying on his feet. That is Jordan Willis and Lenore on the tackle, pushing CeeDee Lamb out right at the 25-yard line to make it a third and eight and a very, very important third down for both teams with 11 minutes and 30 seconds left to go in this game. 49ers defense knowing that this is potential four down territory for the Dallas Cowboys. Let's see what happens. Three receivers to the right. CeeDee Lamb goes in motion from the right to the left. The Niners looks like they're going to bring a blitz. Hafunga backs up out of it. Everybody else of the Niners backs up out of it. And an underthrown pass for CeeDee Lamb, who drops the ball. Fourth and eight. Prescott walking to the sideline. Cowboys are going to attempt a field goal? Yes, they are. Yes, they are are the longest field goal of Mars postseason career at a 43 yard attempt made his first field goal at 25 yards the Santa Clara crowd going nuts Fred Warner Hafunga waving trying to mess him up Mar on the kick it is who good it is good Oh my gosh, 12 to 16. Who saw this one coming? Mar on the kick. Started to whip right, whip back left. Kick is good. 12 to 16 lead, or 16 to 12 lead for the 49ers against the Cowboys.
I didn't, I know. Whew, what a game. 49ers up by four. Maher, except kicking the ball off. Ray Ray McLeod not even attempting. It goes through the back of the end zone. 11 minutes left in the game. With a first and 10, Purdy is under center, has Elijah Mitchell in the backfield. Juice Box goes in motion from the, right to, left to the right to the left as Purdy goes in shotgun, gets the ball, stepping back, throws it to the right. Kittle with another catch, another first down. Need a 10, picked up 17. Kittle just right up the middle. Purdy throwing it right on the eight of Kittle's number. Kittle. Beautiful catch. First down. Three receivers to the left. Juice box, Kittle, and Debo. Ki Juice box goes in motion from the left to the right. That is Elijah Mitchell in the backfield. Eliza Mitchell gets the handoff. Eliza Mitchell with some green grass needing to make some defenders miss, and he absolutely drags them for a ride. Second and three after the gain of seven by Elijah Mitchell. Kyle Shanahan giving Brock Purdy tons of praise, saying this is the most poised rookie I've ever been around. Ten minutes left to go in the divisional round with the Niners on a four-point lead, 74 yards rushing to the Cowboys, 76. Purdy in shotgun sends Kittle in motion from the right, actually from the left to the backfield. Debo goes in motion from the left, hands it off to Elijah Mitchell, who gets to the line of scrimmage and then is stopped by the Dallas defense, third and two. Purdy, 15 completions on 24 attempts, 184 yards through the air, a couple of dropped interceptions by the Dallas defense. With 15 seconds on the play clock, 9-11 left to go in the game. There is two receivers to Purdy's left and two receivers to the right with Christian McCaffrey in the backfield. Now out of the backfield to the left. Empty backfield, Purdy in shotgun. Gets the ball with one second on the play clock. Looks center, throws it to Brandon Ayuk, who picks up the first down, needed two, picked up almost 10 balls now in Dallas territory. Ayuk coming up with a huge first down on third down. Ayuk just on the in-out move. That was number 
40 to Anthony Barr on coverage. Anthony Barr gets juked out of his shoes. First and 10. Brandon Ayuk, two receptions on the day for 26 yards. 10 seconds on the play clock. Purdy seeing the play clock, saying, hurry up, hurry up, under center. Jawan Jennings going motion from the right to the left-hand side. I'm going to get the ball off in time, and he does. Hands it to Elijah Mitchell. Elijah Mitchell falling forward for a gain of five. Tripped up, wanted more, gets up, hands the ball to the ref. Eight minutes, five seconds left to go in the game, and the Niners just bleeding this clock with the lead. Everyone in the stadium knows the Niners want to run and bleed the clock, and the Dallas Cowboys defense is gassed and unable to stop. Brock Purdy and this 49ers offense. Shotgun for Purdy. Sends Warner in motion from the left. Now it's Trip Bunch on the right with Jawan Jennings, Brandon Ayuk. Everyone letting the play clock wind down. And the Niners are going to call their first time out of the game. The second half, 7.31 left to go in the game. Second and five. The juice box comes in. Jawan Jennings leaves. Both teams evenly matched with Cowboys 256 yards, Niners 257 yards. Very, very evenly matched teams. Second and five. 15 seconds on the play clock. Purdy in shotgun sends Warner in motion from the right to the left. To trip bunch to the left with Warner, Juice Box, and Ayuk. Now Warner goes back in motion, hands the ball off to Mitchell. Mitchell needed five, picked up three to make it third and three. Third and two, depending on where they mark it. That is going to be. They did mark it third and three with 707 left in this game. Shout out Vallejo and E40. Huge third down for the Dallas Cowboys defense. 
Purdy says, I'm going to empty out the backfield. Debo, you're going to go in motion from the right to the left. McCaffrey is far out right, coming back in motion, but stays out. Purdy in the backfield, gets the ball to McCaffrey. McCaffrey needed three, picked up six on the catch. McCaffrey saying first down, points to the defense. Nothing nefarious. And, oh, my gosh, Kittle <laughs> dropped the defender off the line, Donovan Wilson, who has been shook since he tackled Kittle earlier in the game. Christian McCaffrey comes out of the game, 35 rushing yards, 35 passing receiving yards. Purdy, nine seconds on the play clock under center. Jawan Jennings going in motion from the left, but going to stay on the left. It's a wing left, then hands the ball off to Mitchell. Mitchell running left, runs into a line of defenders, gain of three on the play. Second and seven clock ticking in the 49ers' favor with five minutes and 50 seconds left in the game. Four-point lead. A field goal here will put the Niners up seven, forcing the Cowboys to get a touchdown and the point after or the two-point conversion to go for it with time dwindling in the Niners' favor. Five minutes, 30 seconds left in the game. Purdy is in shotgun. There is a trip bunch to the right with Warner going in motion out of that bunch to the left-hand side. Two seconds on the play clock. Purdy in shotgun. Gets the ball. Hands it to Mitchell. Mitchell jump cutting in the backfield. Running with a hard head of steam. Needed seven. Picked up eight. Ryan running over Trayvon Diggs for the first down. Oh, man. Kittle coming in on the block on the amazing linebacker, Leighton Vanders, allows Mitchell to pick up that first down. Could have easily been stopped for a small gain. First and 10. Niners have 65 rushing yards this half to the Cowboys 21. Charlie Warner going in motion from the left to the right. Two seconds on the play clock. Purdy gets the ball off in time, hands it to Mitchell. Mitchell Tackled in the backfield. Big time play by Donovan Wilson to stop Elijah Mitchell for a loss on the play. Clock is ticking. Everything is ticking late in this game. Four minutes, 20 seconds left in the game. Second and 10. Niners haven't even decided to huddle up yet. Hmm. Hmm. I have a... Dallas fan texted me saying that that block by Kittle was a block in the back. I don't know. Niners breaking the huddle with six seconds on the play clock. Everybody rushing out, emptied out the backfield. Purdy getting the ball off with one second, fakes it to the right, throws it to the ground. Debo, the intended receiver. I think everybody not on the same page. No one wanted to take a timeout that at that point in the game. So live to see another day, third and 10. Oh, I think uh, I think Debo had nobody, so he just threw it to the grass. Everybody on no, no one on the right page right there. I think Debo thought it was a screen for somebody else. Third and ten, four seconds on the play clock. Purdy sending Jawan Jennings in motion, gets the ball off in time, steps back, looks right sees the pressure steps up out of it staying on his feet needed 10 picked up six purdy avoiding a big hit by the defense to make it fourth down 330 left to go in the game fourth and three robbie gold super important field goal has not missed a field goal in the postseason in his career I did not just jinx that man. I did not just jinx that man. 310 left to go in the game. Robbie Gold on a 28-yard attempt. We have the hike, the hold, the kick. All good. Did not jinx that man. Seven-point lead.
Oh, Esme was hanging out down there. Niners, late in the game. No, they have a seven point lead. I mean, uh, 3.30 I was, I think, <coughs> in the game. And they just kicked the field goal, so Dallas gets the ball. All three timeouts. I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> wouldn't fucking doubt it. I mean, my guess is if the Cowboys do score, they don't have enough confidence in their kicker and go for two. And if they get it, they win. So, I mean, I don't say they win, but 3.30 left. Yeah, me neither. Uh, I do, but I gotta finish work. Here we go, three minutes and four seconds left in the game. Dak Prescott licking his fingers from the sideline. Robbie Gold set to kick it off. Please put this thing through the back of the end zone, Robbie Gold. Oh, Turpin with the ball at the one yard line. Nothing but green grass getting to the outside, does not get to the outside. That is Banks on the tackle, I believe, by the 49er defense. That is actually Oren Burks, I believe. Dak Prescott, 20 of 29 on the game, 180 yards. Prescott in shotgun. CD Lamb far out right. Prescott looking right. That is a dropped interception for Dre Greenlaw. That would have been a pick six. Could have put the icing on the cake of that game. Dak Prescott getting away with one there. Dre Greenlaw knows he missed that one. Dak Prescott in shotgun, Zeke on his right, three receivers to the left, one receiver to the right, eight seconds on the play clock, Dak looking around, surveying the field, gets the ball, looking left, has time, throws it to the right, deep down the right, beautiful defensive play by Traverius Ward, coming back for the ball was Michael Gallup, Traverius Ward putting his hands up right in the face, coming through the ball, beautiful, beautiful defensive play, Traverius Ward. Traverius Ward, a step behind. Ooh, can see why maybe Cowboy fans would want a little holding call on that. And I don't even know if Gallup was going to be able to come up with that catch either way. Traverius Ward getting his hands right where they needed to be. Third and 10. Prescott dropping back, stepping up. No, getting out of it. That is going to be a sack for Samson Eubank, the star of the defense today, blocked the point after causing a huge tackle on third down, forcing fourth down. Mike McCarthy telling his offense, get the fuck off the field, get off the field, we're going to punt it away. Interesting move, interesting move, interesting move. No, 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 is that not what's happening? Yes, that is what's happening. He said we're going to punt it away. And the Niners defense says, fuck it, we don't care. We think it's a fake, we think it's a fake. So with 15 seconds on the play clock, the Niners defense set up like an, like an actual defense right now, letting the punt punt away. 
beautiful, smart move, DeMarco Ryan, fair catch for Ray Ray McLeod at the 26-yard line. I like the play calling D'Amico Ryan right there and Kyle Shanahan. Whew. Now, the Niners just needing to run the ball. Oh, yeah. Whew. Samson Eubank coming out of the double team to get the behind the tackle of Dak Prescott, who's getting tackled by Nick Bosa at the same time. Dallas, three timeouts, two minutes and five seconds left in this game. Niners, two timeouts, seven-point lead. First and ten. Big drive from Brock Purdy, who's on his knees telling this team, let's fucking go. Breaks the huddle with 15 seconds on the play clock. Three receivers to the right, McCaffrey on the left. Now Kittle goes in motion from the right-hand side to the left-hand side. Five seconds on the play clock, gets the ball. They're going to pass it, throws it to Kittle for a touch. First down, stays on his feet, getting picked up by multiple defenders. Two-minute warning, clock was stopping either way. Wow, what a ballsy call, Kyle Shanahan. Two-minute warning. First and 10, ballsy call by Kyle Shanahan right there. Throwing the ball to Debo. One fifty-eight left to go in this game. Brock Purdy is 18 for 28 on the day with 215 yards through the air. Elijah Mitchell on the left-hand side of Purdy, who's in shock and gets the handoff. That is a run up the middle, not much space more than likely going to be the first time out of the Cowboys with 153 left to go in the game. Second and nine, 153 left to go in the game. Cowboys taking a timeout. 
taking a look at the championship games that we have ahead. Both number one seeds make it through. Excuse me. We are going to have the Kansas City Chiefs versus the Cincinnati Bengals back-to-back -back years. This is the fifth straight year the Kansas City Chiefs have made it to the championship game. The Philadelphia Eagles, number one seed, awaiting the winner of this game. The Niners are a minute and 53 seconds away from icing this game. The juice box goes in motion from the left to the right to make it I formation with Elijah Mitchell in the backfield. Now Kittle goes in motion from the left to the right. Two receivers to the right, Kittle and Ayuk. Five seconds on the play clock, pitch to Mitchell. Mitchell running to the right with one hand on the ball. Very strong first down, getting some green grass. Steps out of bound, does stop the clock, but does pick up the first down. Not the smartest play by a young running back who just needed to pick up the first down and stay down to s allow the clock to stop, to keep moving. Kyle Shanahan very upset at that play. You can see it on his face. That is a big time first down, but that doesn't mean the game is over because the clock is stopped and anything can happen. If you just would have go gone out of taking a knee after you got the first down, very nice hold. Ooh, hold on right there. Big hold. Uh, 19, 12, 147 left to go in the game. Niners have the ball with the lead, and it's a run for Mitchell up the middle, staying on his feet, allowing the clock to keep moving. And the Dallas Cowboys will take their second time out of the half. Ooh, I love it. I love it. Everyone's saying if you're Kyle Shanahan, you're going to run it. Kyle Shanahan's not the type of coach that you can just predict of what they're going to do. I'm sorry. Brandon Ayuk is on the sideline, so they might be right with the personnel. But the Cowboys calling another timeout, stopping the clock at 1 minute and 41 seconds till the game is over. So we have one minute and 41 seconds. The Cowboys have one timeout. It is a second and nine. If the Cowboys can get a stop, call their last timeout, then the Niners run their third down play. They could potentially get the ball with around 40 seconds left in the game. Second and nine, 18 seconds on the play clock. Eliza Mitchell, the running back. Eliza Mitchell's getting the handoff. Eliza Mitchell, two hands on the ball, gets tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Nice hard tackle by... I would have to assume the defensive leader of the day, Demarcus Lawrence for the Dallas Cowboys. He's been had his handprint all over this game. Very, very quiet. Mika Parsons today, very sad. Was expecting to say his name way more often than I did. Cowboys taking their last time out and we are having reminiscence of the Niners and Cowboys last year in this same scenario Dallas getting the ball with no timeouts very little time on the clock Dallas will learn from their mistakes and not have they will get the ball directly to the ref if they get a chance to get this ball third and eight 137 left to go in the game Brock Purdy breaks the huddle. McCaffrey's on his right-hand side. 14 seconds on the play clock and counting. Kittle on the right with Debo on the right. Purdy empties out the backfield. Kyle Shanahan's walking down, gets the ball, throws it to McCaffrey. McCaffrey with the catch, stays on his feet, clock moving, tackled. And a very late hit on Jawan Jennings, who gets hit again and is playing the soccer role and flopping. One minute and 20 seconds, fourth and nine, and the Niners are going to keep the ball. The offense is staying on the field, saying huddle up as the Cowboys defense is walking away. It is a timeout. I guess you know you can't hurry up and hike the ball. So as we're taking a look at that last, oh yeah. Now Brock Purdy 
jogging off the sideline as the punt team comes on the field. You paid Mitch Wazowski a ton of money at the beginning of the year to do what Mitch Wazowski has done all game. He beautifully punted the ball the last time on the right hash, or excuse me, to the right sideline. It bounced and went out of bounds at the nine yard line. Looking to see the same thing here. 51 seconds left in this game. A huge punt, a muffled punt right here could swing the momentum in Dallas's favor. Mitch Wazowski back to receive this punt. Cowboys looking to try and block it, switching their corner up. Mitch Wazowski gets the punt and the punt off, just gets a barreling punt. Turpin sets for the fair catch at the six-yard line. 45 seconds left to go in the game. First and 10, Dak Prescott taking over. Please be careful when you unplug that. Thank you. Dak Prescott has had 20 career fourth quarter comeback slash tying the game. With 45 seconds left in his season, can Dak Prescott do it? Three receivers to the right, Dak Prescott in shotgun, sends Schultz in motion from the right, actually will stay on the right, and Zeke is in the backfield. Bosa coming in hot. Prescott rolling right, gets a, oh my fucking goodness! Oh my goodness, Eric Armstead had a safety and let Dak, Dak Prescott go. That is the problem with the NFL. He was so worried about getting a roughing the passer that he just barely pushed Dak Prescott if this was if this if he wasn't worried about getting a roughing the penalty he would have laid Prescott out second and 10 ball still at the six yard line huge defensive miscue by the 49ers you don't see shotgun Prescott getting the ball stepping back throwing to the right that is a catch for Schultz who steps out of bounds right before the first down marker and they are not going to give it to him did not think he got there 33 seconds left in the game huge third down third and one four down territory the rest of the game what are you doing third and one 20 seconds left on the play clock Dak prescott breathing deep as he sees his season coming to an end niners Defensive line all bunched up on the left-hand side with Bosa. Bosa coming in hot. Prescott getting it off in time. Schultz with the catch. And they keep the clock moving. They keep the clock moving. 24 seconds and counting. Dak Prescott under center. Zeke in the backfield. They just take it, and they are going to run a play. Dak Prescott has pressure. He's rolling to his left. He has rolling to his left. Throws a deep ball out of bounds. Clock stops with 10 seconds on the play clock. Ball intended for Michael Gallup. My goodness. I'll be right. Um, the game's almost done, and I'll help you, okay? See how Schultz didn't force himself out of bounds and was hit by the defender? Ten seconds, and we're done, okay? Ten seconds in the game, big defensive play, and the game's over. Second and ten, Niners with nobody at the line except for three defend defenders, and only two of them are rushing. Three seconds left to go on the play clock. Dak gets the ball. All the defenders far, far back. Dak throws it to the right. Catch steps out of bounds for Schultz. Schultz out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Niners allowing them to get that one play to now allow the Hail Mary to be in effect. You have a Hail Mary to send this potentially into overtime. You can't even say it's going to go into overtime because you have a very... Are they saying no catch? Let's see. Schultz at the sideline. Gets one foot in. Oh, my gosh. That is an incomplete catch. That's that's not a catch. He only had one foot in. Oh, no. Five seconds left in the game. Why don't you guys plug that in somewhere? 
there's nothing in the living room to plug it in at. Let me see that. Plug it in and we'll start charging. You don't have to plug it in the wall. Just plug it into your tablet and it'll start charging. Trust me. Just trust me, Mac. Trust me. Schultz getting his left foot down and his right foot in the air. We are looking to see if any piece of that cleat touches the grass. And I just don't see it before he steps out of bound. One foot. This is not college. This is the NFL. You need two feet down in bounds to be a catch. Taking that 20 yards back, this is making a, let's see, booth review. Receiver only gets one foot down, incomplete. It'll be third and 10. Call is reversed. I think, I mean, I don't even want to say anything. I don't even want to say anything. I don't even want to say anything. There's five seconds left to go in the game, and the Niners are doing the same thing they did before. They are bringing three defend, defend, defensive linemen. And the Cowboys, in a very funky situation right now, they, are, they don't have a center. They don't have anybody. Um, let's see what we got going on. With six seconds left to go in this game, third and ten biggest play and the Niners are going to take a timeout and talk it over with their defenders and <laughs> the Cowboys lined up with their linemen far out to the right ooh the Cowboys bring in Turpin The return specialist. What? What? I'm sorry, Mac. Third and ten. Six seconds left to go in the Cowboys season. Mike McCarthy looking on from the sideline as Kellen Moore was just talking to Dak Prescott. Cowboys coming out in the funky formation again. Looks like they're going to have Ezekiel Elliott hike the ball. So the defense decides to put Ally Share right over him. And a lot of time before this play is hiked. Ezekiel Elliott is ineligible on this play. Four defend four offensive linemen to the right. Play is hiked. Dak throws it to Turpin, who is instantly tackled for a game ending Jimmy Ward play. Third and ten. Niners win. 19 to 12. My goodness. Turpin tried to act like he didn't catch the ball, which would have been a very smart play by Turpin if he just would have, like, but he caught that ball. And that is game. Niners send the Dallas Cowboys home back to back years. Let's see if the Niners can actually win a game in the championship against the Eagles next week. The Eagles are no joke. The Eagles looked absolutely fire. Had a lot of rest. A lot of their players are looking healthy. My players of the game. Let's see. Player of the game. Let's see, player of the game, George Kittle, five receptions, 95 yards, and 
Brock Purdy, 19 of 29, 10 incompletions for 214 yards, no touchdowns, but no interceptions, no fumbles. And my defensive player of the game might not have stuffed the stat sheet, but with a blocked PAT changing the entire schematics of the first half for the Dallas Cowboys and a huge tackle for a loss late in the fourth quarter. My defensive player of the game is Sansom Eubank with an amazing play all year long, getting his love here in the divisional round. So now we have our giveaway. Let's get that ready. Only two contestants in the giveaway, and the Niners are looking pretty good, just like Angel said. So the first contestant was Chewy. Excuse me. Second contestant was On Hell. Let's see what we got. Let's keep this up here so everyone can see. I'm going to close my eyes and just change hands, change fingers, flip them and flop them around. I have no clue which one's which, and I'm just going to drop that one. And this is our winner, which is ah, on hell with a, another win in the Top Shot community, adding to his collection with a Kevin Love moment. I'm going to send that over at the end of the game or end of this. Time to eat. Let's go. Oh. 